There are many conflicting methods to serving this notorious drink. Hi, I'm Barbara with WatchMojo.com, and today we're going to be learning how to properly serve absinthe. The usual and ritual way of serving it, like back in the 1800s, is you get your, your absinthe in a glass. Uh, in this case, we have one ounce of absinthe. Then you add this little spoon here, it's specially made to uh, slowly dissolve the sugar we add in the absinthe. And then the goal is to mix water with absinthe, at the same time dissolving the sugar to a point where, as an absinthe drinker, you like it. So the water has to be very, very cold. You just pour slowly water over sugar. Usually, when I see the louche appearing, uh, meaning that uh, the absinthe changes color from uh, translucent to kind of uh, milky white with some haze of blue and green, that's the way I like it myself. So once you're done, you just remove that. You can use your little spoon to mix up, and then you drink. We're using at Deux Ciel an absinthe called La Clandestine. It's produced in Switzerland. Actually, the guy that has been producing this absinthe is known for having producing it even before it was legalized again. And when it became legal again in Switzerland, which is around the 2000s, he was the first one to get a legal permit in Switzerland. And it's among the best absinthe I've tasted uh, yet in, uh, in my life. This absinthe is not green. After the distillate, any absinthe will be translucent because it's only alcohol. At the time, after the absinthe was ready, it had been distillate, they would still macerate another time some, some plants in, um, in the strong alcohol just to get the color, the green color. There's also some other ways that some people will serve absinthe. One of them is to, uh, to soak the sugar a bit in the absinthe before you dilute, dilute it, put it back on the um, on the spoon and light it up with a match. It was another gimmick to attract people to trying absinthe because it wasn't the way it was served in the 1800s. People didn't even think about it because this will only add, to my taste, bad flavor to, to absinthe. And if you think about it, uh, imagine in the 1800s where everybody in Paris would drink absinthe um, at night. It was the main, uh, the main liquor sold in bistros and every, everywhere. So if every, everybody would do that, you know, light up their, their little cube sugar and being drunk and everything, Paris probably had burned down a few times. <laughs>